Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophynet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. We're still in Lyria, but we're, uh, well, it's high time we wrap this area up because I think we've been everywhere we could go. Uh, I think the map looks really, really clean at the moment. Let's just take a quick look. Yeah, so there's the only uh, locked gate that we couldn't open yet with the uh, wyvern probably on the other side of the fork tail, something like that. Uh, which means that we're finally ready to go to the south towards the Duke of Dogs' estate. So let's go and check that out and move the story forwards a bit. Not that those other side stories weren't interesting, of course, because they were. But uh, look at that castle. That looks like something we should uh, explore. Uh, if I can fit onto the bridge. There we go. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Of smoke. God damn it. Make haste! That looks like the strays of Spala. Again. As the Clayton estate appeared from behind a tree line, the Queen and all in her retinue knew at once they had arrived too late. A veritable swarm of bandits milled about the yard. Who have we here? I'll take a gander, lads. The Queen herself is deign to come and see us. See you, then kill you. The strays of Sparla. Tis you who lead them. Tis you they call the Duke of Dogs. Aye, tis I they dub so. And in other pleasant ways. Prince of Pariahs, Thane of Thieves, Baron of Brigands, and Marquess of Mendacity. Colourful titles all. Yet you omit one. Come on, cutthroat! I beg your pardon and cry foul. I am anything but common. You needn't get excited, Caldwell. Where is Lord Clayton? Sadly, my lord's no longer with us. Turned us away, you see. Denied us hospitality. A sacred right, after all. Angered the gods mightily, I expect, as he promptly met a tragic end. Fell in the well and broke his neck. I've heard enough. Two arms! Attack! Okay, hello, Gascon, the Duke of Dogs, and Reynard looked uh, very fancy in his full armor. Meave's soldiers were seasoned warriors. They had served in many campaigns, fought on many fronts. Still, the strays of Spala caused them great unease. The brigands, howling like wild dogs, did not fight with ordinary sword nor spear, but with executioners' axes, boards with rusty nails and instruments of torture, their faces concealed behind ghastly prison masks. So, uh, story battle, special rules and shortened battle. Optional, eliminate Gascon, the Duke of Dogs. And as a hint, we can surround Gascon with powerful units. Okay, so choose a card to redraw. I think I might just keep the... Yeah, let's get rid of the Wagenberg. Keep the pikemen in there. That seems about right, so... Uh, maybe... Ah, I could go for Caldwell, of course. So maybe get rid of the field medic, because it's only one round. Sightman gone. War wagon. Ah, fair enough. Here we go. Here we go. What say we throw this queen aboard? I do love the music in this fight. Already. So Stray's cavalry. So that means that's the marking, right? Yeah, okay. And then Gascoin on our team for some reason. Duke of Dogs, boss leading before turn start if the sum of the adjacent unit's power is higher than self, damage self by three. Every turn on turn start, move to a random position and damage adjacent units by two. Hmm. So that's why we need to surround them with powerful units. So another thing to note is that the Duke of Dogs is immune. So even with something like the Forager, I can't just immediately destroy him and end the fight right now. Uh, I don't think he has an ability. Yeah, because his card, of course, is the ability. I should... Probably just start off with a blitz unit. Um, yeah, with the regiment drummer, probably. Boost the power, the lowest ally with the power of the highest ally. That would be interesting as well, because now that Gascon is on the field, I can probably abuse the hell out of him. So let's put the regiment drummer down over here. Left, right. Then Left, use me right. to see what we will be able to order from our deck when we do so. 
Uh, it's a top blitz unit that he fires off. I'm just gonna save Caldwell for later. And just get the war wagon. Yeah, let's get the war wagon up top. There we go. And that's pretty much it. Oh, so he... Oh, I thought he was gonna move to a random row. Okay. I could just go for... The Lyrian Merlot now. And then fire off the regiment drummer. So let's let's do that first. So, because I think... Is that to the left or right that that happens? On the right. So that's good. Means that I know what's going to happen. So let's use the Lyrian Merlot on the regiment drummer. Then fire off its ability. And put the war wagon on the other side of Gascon. Take it and that's pretty much it. There we go. So he gets damaged by tree because he was surrounded by a lot of enemies. Stand back. This some alchemical concoction. So they put the row on fire if they start destroying. Oh. I was hoping that they would destroy the light infantry, but they don't. Um I can actually use my ability again. Which is fine by me. I have another regiment drummer. So let's just put the drummer on the other side of the artifact. So there we go. Again and again. And I use her ability to put an Arbalest ah! up top. Or the drummer. Yeah, you know what? The drummer might be a good idea so I can keep spawning units. Uh, I feel like he's gonna die anyway, but. Unless something really fancy comes over here. It's weird how this he moves. Does he actually move to a random position? Yeah, okay, so I just need to go with higher level enemies. Uh, let's use the regiment drummer to get the other regiment drummer down here. Army's a waste of time for one like me. And then I can give in the next turn I can use Reynard to actually boost uh, give all those drummers another charge, which will be nice. And then maybe the Wagenberg on the top row. Yeah, on the top row. There we go. And and the third. So he was damaged by tree again because the uh, the units next to him were stronger than him. Strace Infiltrator. After two turns on turn start, boost self by the power of the unit on the right, then move to the opponent's side. Okay, so I definitely need to kill that. So first off, Meave's ability. And fire off, set the Lord Count Caldwell up top. Then fire the... Do, 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 do. No, I'm gonna fire off an Arbalest. And put it on the row here as well. And then des destroy the Spy. That gives us a bit of armor. Then use the Regiment Drummer to get Lord Caldwell in here. And I think I made a bit of a mistake. It's not that big of a mistake, but yeah, just between here... And we're going to be able to pull another Arbalest out of the deck. And use that to just fire off at... Wait, that's one, two, that's eight damage on the Strange Bomber. There we go. Well, well, my congratulations. There we go. So Gascon is starting to lose ground here a bit. I'm going to have to... Mm, going to have to start moving down as well because if... Gascon, yeah, he stays on the road here for some reason. So we did get damaged again. Uh, next up is Reynard, who will be able to ch give charges to the other units, which are all drummers. Um, so let's do just that. Let's put Reynard down. Her Majesty is. Give the charges back. And then let's start getting some enemies on the field. Um, so first off, uh, Pikeman. Let's put that down on the There's lower a row. To reap, a time to sow. Then another just... Here's late. No, that's a Pikeman. Excitement. Pikeman, excitement. 
and then the last one is going to be another excitement so that's going to be handy Hi. for us to boost everything while we're uh, working around the spy because that's going to be a bit of a problem right now because i was hoping i would at least pull one arbalest but that did not happen there we go we got a job to do there goes another spy and he just takes over the yeah the unit on the right, which was luckily a bit of a low one, because he just took over his own infiltrator. Dan, Meave, uh, that's not going to do much anymore, but here we go. Uh, let's get the Arblast up front. And then we do a lot more damage, and we boost um, our other units. Dan, I think I'm just going to go for another Arblast. And put that down next to Gascon. Give me a target. And destroy the spy with it. There we go. I don't think I will be able to destroy Gascon. We'll catch them all. So he marks another unit. And the fire just uh, wreaks havoc on everything there. Um, so I could just keep going with... Next to Gascon. Because he's going to lose health uh, every time we do that. And then, yeah, since we're losing the health anyway, let's just damage that. And there we go. We're winning, of course. We're definitely going to win this. But I think I might be able to kill Gascon in the next, next turn. That was a trap. I think I might be able to just use that to my advantage and destroy one unit, which gives a bit more space uh, for the next turn. Use this. There we go. 15. Use the ability again. And that boosts. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, but it just triggers all the loyal abilities, which is really nice for all of that. And then on the turn, and that should kill Gascon. There we go. There he goes. And victory, because he's dead. Bravo, your grace. Oh, he's not dead, dead. I can't say the same for you, I fear. That was awesome music, by the way. Die in battle. Bound for Lyria now. Where the hangman will have his way with you. Yeah. Splendid. I've ever wished to see the capital. Okay. You're quite sure of yourself. Yeah, indeed. Quite certain of yourself, you seem. Many a four you have braided nooses for me, your grace. Yet as you see, my neck's straight as a pike. My threats are never hollow. And if it's an escape you way, well, we've yet to see any man abscond from the dungeons of Lyria Castle. I'd hope so, for to be known as second just wouldn't be worth the trouble. It feels like he knows what he's doing right now, so let's take him uh, away. Take him away. As soldiers placed the Duke of Dogs in shackles, there was a sudden commotion. A messenger rushed in, sweaty, gasping for air, smelling of smoke and blood. His gaze spoke terror. Okay. Your Majesty, Graces. Nilfgaard's crossed the Yoruga. Black-clad hordes. Villages burn. Folk lie murdered. Nilfgaard. Gods help us. That of course fits with what happens in the they books. They march for Dravagred. Prince Willem, he can't hope to arrive in time with aid. Help us. You must. Okay. Dravagred. Full on war. There we go. So we can't return close, to Lyria Castle You're just to take yet. A fresh mount. Ride hard back to your commander and say the queen comes to repel the foe. Your grace, begging your pardon, our force. We aren't many. Let's send for reinforcements first, elsewise. Reynard, I've seen Nilfgaard's trebuchets at work. Should we delay until we're stronger, they'll leave no stone standing in Dravograd. We must ride for the town at once. Dravograd. That's a city I haven't heard of before. As her men prepared oh, to look march, at that. Meave climbed the manor's tower. Smoke rose in columns in the distance. As more black pillars appeared one after the other, she knew they meant another home, another barn, another mill was in flames. Tears welled in her eyes. Yet they were tears of anger. Bastard. If it's war they seek, it's war I shall win. Reynard, prepare to ride. There we go. 
This card has been added to your command tent. Meave Rivian Broadsword. That sounds cool. Let's take a look at that before we move on. So Rivian Broadsword. Order damage an enemy unit and all other enemies with the same power by 4. Then trigger all allies loyal abilities. That means we... Because the cooldown is 5. We can't use that as often as for example the Warhammer or the Longsword. But... It is really powerful. Damage an enemy unit and all other enemies with the same power by 4. I think having the control over the field with uh, the drummers and then Warhammer choosing which unit you'll pull is probably more interesting than the Rivian Broadsword just damaging. Though of course there could be uh, situations where the Rivian Broadsword is uh, more interesting. But uh, let's stay with the Warhammer for now. I'm also going to swap the Fortitude Tonic out for the Lyrian Horn. Because that's incredibly powerful. Boost allies by 2 and damage enemies by 2. So if we keep that for the end of the row. That can actually completely switch out the entire uh, battle there. We still have a bit of uh, capacity left. And I'm wondering if I need two Wagenbergs, because I don't really like the Wagenbergs for now. So let's just remove one Wagenberg, put in another Forager, there we go. Because those are very high power and they can actually clear up the row if we're full on everything. And I'm also going to make another Pikeman so we have three to pull once we uh, do that. There we go. And then we have eight left. What do we have that is eight? Could put in another... Can I actually do another drummer? Because the drummers are really, really powerful in my mind. So if I... I can make one at least. I'm actually burning through my resources a bit like this, but... There we go. And then another sightman. That fills it up nicely. There we go. 125 from 125. So that's our new deck. And then let's check out the royal tent. Because we must have gotten a new... Did we, did we get a new letter? No, but the report from the Ravograd. Your Highness Nilf Guardians march towards our city, burning everything in their path. They've siege towers, battering rams, catapults, ballistae, and three full infantry regiments. Without reinforcements, we shan't hold them off for more than a day, and we've heard nothing back from the capital, nor seen any sign of extra troops. Please, my lady, save us. Gideon Bar Garrison Commander. So that's where we're headed. And then I don't think we have enough stuff to check out our resources. We do have the mess tent. Uh, but nothing seems to be changing over here. So let's get out. Our morale is still up top, which is nice. I'm just going to loot around the place to get a bit of our resources back that we just spent on new troops. And it's actually quite a bit. First bandits, now this. Misfortune does indeed come knocking twice. Hmm. In hobnail boots. Tramping upon my land. Nilfgaard shall regret this. I swear on all that is sacred and blessed. Okay, yeah, the queen is uh, understandably angry. And we're getting pulled straight into the Nilfgaardian war. What's Some this? Meave's force found itself marching straight towards a Nilfgaardian company. To the queen's surprise, the invaders did not immediately assume battle formation. They proceeded instead in her very direction without a sign of panic. The man leading the Nilf Guardians was clad in rich robes. He exuded pride and the scent of musk. I am Traern Vardifir, Your Majesty. I was asked to present your esteemed grace the ultimatum of the forces of the Empire of Nilfgaard. Okay. So that's. That's the Mary Whitnell Guardians. The envoy cracked the seal on a scroll, unfurled it, took a deep breath, and began to read. I, General Ardal Ebdahi, demand the immediate and unconditional surrender of Lyria and Rivia. Elsewise, I will burn down every city, town, village, and temple, place all your subjects in chains, and your armed men, defeated and captured, I will hang along the roadsides as a warning to all others in the barbarous north. Okay, that doesn't seem like a good plan. As the final threat echoed in Meave's ears, the envoy put away the scroll and stood waiting for her answer. 
a mocking smile on his face. He allowed himself this insolence, believing the immunity accorded diplomats would shield him from any form of royal ire. So give your answer to the ultimatum or attack the emissary's escort. We're not going to attack the emissary's escort. We'll just be nice and give our answer to, uh, well, let the Nilfgaardians fuck themselves. Thank you, sir. A sophisticated missive that proves beyond a doubt Nilfgaard's superiority over the culturally backward north. Answered the Queen in a voice frostier than Mahakam's snow-capped peaks. To delay this matter I see no reason, so I give you my response to His Excellency. Go ahead and try, Horson. That said, Meave slapped her mount with her reins and galloped away, leaving the Nilfgaardians in dust. Envoy and escort turned to go whence they came, the Lyrians sending them off with a din of whistles and curses. Okay, so that ended peacefully. And morale didn't take a hit from that either, so uh, we did get the message that we chose one evil over another. Which is probably indicates that we uh, made a decision that will have an effect later on. Let's see the notice board from the back. And we see a bit more... Well, one question mark in this little town. And a battle to the south, a puzzle to the east. And another question mark over there as well. We saw the chest already. Can't reach those things from here. Let's just quickly hit the travel point. And then, wood. We always need more wood. And these guys... My lady, the toilers formerly under Lord Clayton's service wish to join your army. In a few hours I can teach them which end of the spade to point at the enemy. It's simply a matter of coin. And then, yeah, of course, to deny a recruit in times of war would prove foolish indeed. So eight more troops is always handy to make new units once we unlock those. Which I think we will be close to. I'm just going to go here first. Because, of course, the castle is to the northeast, kind of. But there might be more things over here. Maybe we can actually upgrade one of our buildings before we move forward. Because there's a lot of materials around here. And at the end of the road, a nice golden chest. That's nice. Thank you very much. Stray's Bomber. Congratulations, you've discovered a card that can be used in the Gwent multiplayer card game. And I think we can now use that in our own deck as well, if I'm not mistaken. We did get a bit of a hammer symbol there, so I think I can actually make new units. Uh, although it doesn't seem like I can actually make those bombers in here. We just unlocked the card in Gwent, but I had that card in Gwent already. Um, so let's just check out the training. No, the workshop. The workshop. There we go. Uh, we could go for the Royal Treasury to add another trinket to our arsenal, but I think we're fine for now. Uh, then I think the most logical thing would be the Herald Study. Gain one recruit after every battle won. Let's do just that. There we go. So now every time we win a battle, we gain an extra recruit, which will be nice later on. So there we go. Done with that. And let's head towards the castle. We have another shrine that we can pray at. And we have a battle over here, which I think we should actually do first then. Hello, Elf Guardians. Foraging units followed in the wake of the Nilfgaardian army's core force, emptying granaries, stealing horses and looting valuables. While fracturing and scattering these units was not vital to Mii's effort to repel the invaders, she had no intention of allowing them to strip her realm bare. So this is um, a normal standard battle, which is fine. So let's see. Uh, we have a pikeman, we have... A few very nice cards. Uh, where is Reynard? Or Lord Caldwell, that's also fine. So let's finish redrawing and see what we're up against. Because uh, we'll have another turn because it's not a normal shortened battle. Uh, let's use the regiment drummer first. Left, right. And use left, Meat Warhammer right. to see what we can actually put in front. I would go with Reynard, of course. Uh, although he's going to be pulled into battle then, which I don't really want to do. So let's just go with the war wagon. The war wagon has a start, so let's end the turn. 
Uh, what can an Elf Guardian do? So after one turn, on turn start, summon a copy of this unit from your deck. Okay, and then Elf Guardian Champion. Uh, damage an enemy by the number of your allied units. Okay, so I do want to keep most of those down. So let's get the Rivian Pikeman on the field. For Rivia! And use the Regiment Drummer to pull the War Wagon. I should have probably placed my Wagenberg first before I did that. But yeah, never mind. There we go. Take there we go. And turn. Nice bit of advantage there. And we can kill off the... Scrubbing duty again? Oh, After God. two allies appear, boost self by six and gain resilience. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Abolista, your command. No, 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 no. There we go. And then... Let's use the Warhammer again. And ah! use it on... Um, another... Arbalest. There we go. And that's pretty much it, because I can't do anything else. There we go. And turn. He keeps putting down more of those, but in the next turn I will be able to destroy that one, because I can't put nine cards on the right. Every turn on turn start boost adjacent units by one if this unit has armor. You know what? I'm I'm ahead for a, a really, really lots, uh, lots of points, so uh, let's just pause. Because he needs to bridge 27 points in one card if he wants to stay that way. There we go. And we won the round because he passed as well. So that means I can actually end it in this turn if I want to. There's Reynard. Fair enough. And then we get... Hmm. I think I'm fine. Maybe a random ally from your graveyard. Would be nice. So, you know what? I'm not going to redraw anything. I'm fine with what we have. We're going to start with the Wagenberg. Just to boost it a bit while we're going along. Uh, and then, of course, use the Warhammer. To boost another Blitz unit up top. I'm going to go for the, the Regiment Drummer. There we go. And then end the turn. Let's see what he does. Just a normal Nilfgaardian soldier. I mean, they're calling him the Nilfgaardian champion. Resilience! Play a random unit from your deck and boost it by two. It's the same thing. And then the same thing again. Yes. And the same thing again. And they all have resilience, so I'm really glad I won the, the first round. And then this unit, what does this do? Strength all copies of this unit in hand, deck, and on the battlefield by two. Okay. Did get why did I why did I get damaged? Oh, because of the yeah the oily from the Nilf Guardian champion. Okay, let's get the war wagon down first, just to boost a bit of units on the field. Hungry like a wolf, I, am. I get three armor on that unit, but that's pretty much it. Then next up, I'm gonna use a drummer. New orders? No. Ah. Okay, no extra damage given. So that is fine by me. Yeah, let's just put down the drummer over here. Again and again and again. Use Meave again. And get another drummer up front. Just st string those along while we're going uh, at it. So that's four already. Do I want to... Let's just keep waiting for that. Yeah, let's just keep waiting for that. I might... Move those to the other row, but I'm going to do that in the next turn. There we go. We're going to do that in the next turn. Damage an enemy by two whenever an ally appears. Gain one charge. Okay. First up, use the drummer. That means we get another drummer. Uh, there we go. Doesn't really matter, I think. Army's a waste of time for one like me. Then we can use the, um, the arbalest. Oh, you know what? I want to see what the field medic does. Although, no, I'm not going to risk it. So the the arbalest right over here. I'm a monster. So that will be seven damage on 
Yeah, I want to take out the Black Infantry Arbalest. There we go, that's one. And then I can use the Wagenberg to destroy this entire row almost. So there we go. And then end the turn. So he's losing a lot of his units, so I don't think we'll uh, be done with that. Every turn on turn start, there's this unit. Yeah, we've seen that. Then, um, hmm, should probably get another unit with loyal on the field. But let's just use the field medic first on this one. Tell me you jest. And then we get a oh, that's stupid, but yeah. You can try to win them all, but you won't. There we go. Let's use the regiment drummer to get another regiment drummer. Put him down right here. Left, right, left. Right. And then I can place another card, can't I? No. No, I did. I did use the, the medic. But we can use Meave Warhammer again. And put one of the Arbalasts up front. And that damages another unit by two. And let's end the turn. I think we will be fine. This doesn't seem like that hard of a battle. We're uh, ahead. Like quite a bit and he can only do Life is mine now. a few damaging moves. Before that, so okay, I'm gonna use the forager on the wagon, the the war wagon oh, over here. So then it goes to 22. Um, can use the regiment drummer to get another arbalest out. I'm gonna put that arbalest over here and attack for this one. Then I'm gonna end the turn. So we're starting to build up a nice army over here. And in a second, it's gonna be even better. Off to the front yet again. So we could do a few things. We could either use the Lyrian Merlot to boost one of those lower units to the power with the power of the Forager. But do I have any... What do I still have left in my deck? I have one more Forager in my deck. Which is interesting. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to use... Uh, Count Caldwell. To get another Forager on the Keep field. Calm, to take out the same I card that he used before. So that's 31. They're quite fresh. And then I can use me his Warhammer again, just just because. Could have used that on the yeah, no, nothing, nothing I can do about that. So let's get another Arbalest down, and then we get more damage on the field as well. And that's it for this turn. Yeah, we're clearly gonna win this. 105 versus 31. They're gonna go down. So another Enforcer. Yeah, they're gonna go down. I'm not gonna waste too much time. So let's do the Lyrian Merlot. And there we go. Another unit boosted by 25. And then the turn. They keep going as well, but I mean... Can't really help much with that. So let's use Reynard to actually get more deploys out of that. So we get three more deploys, which means we can get at least two more Arbalests out of this, I think. So, one our blast down. Bolt. So that is eight damage on... Yeah, one of those guys with armor, maybe. There we go. Then we have another charge with another uh, sightman. Ah, Put that one down there. Use the Warhammer to get our last Arbalest on the front. And that boosts all those. And then we can use... Our regiment drummer to definitely pull the arbalest and do Give nine it. more damage on uh, this guy, and that's the end of the turn. So that one still boosts, but that's pretty much it because the other ones can't do anything anymore. And I think the leader has lost all of its orders. Yeah, we're pretty much we're pretty much done. So let's just use the Lyrian horn and. Boost all ours with two and damage all his with two. So there we go. Boss. I think we crushed that Nilfgaardian encampment really nicely underneath our boot. 
Yep, just give up, buddy. Just give up. Oh, yeah, you can beat out. And Pulse, there we go. Victory is ours. That was nice to have a bit of a normal battle in there as well. Shows off how strong our decks actually are. Duke Ardell from Duke Ardell Abdehi to Colonel, Colonel Ewen Vargle with, if I, Jesus, those names. Your priority is to capture of Drag. Dravograd, seizing the city in the war's first days, grants additional clouds behind our allies in their negotiations with the Lyrian nobility. You needn't lose peace of mind over Queen Meave. According to our reports, she's just crossed the border with an insignificant military force. She poses you no threat. Well, these guys uh, lost their lives over that, so I think we did pose a bit of a threat. Can't move to the outside over there, we just murdered all of those. So let's just pray at that altar to get our morale back for what is probably going to be a big battle up north. But before we go to that, I'm going to take a little break. Thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And when we get back, we're going to take the fight to the North Guardians even harder. So thanks again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.